Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I got some happy mail, so we're going to open it. I have no idea who this is from. By the way, this is Casey Liama. Thank you for clicking on this unboxing. Okay, yeah, we can see it. Okay, so there's just <laughs> a this. I'm not sure. And then we have this. Oh, it's from Take a Note. And then we have the planner. Okay. So these are what was in the box. So let's open the planner. This is for my 2024 planner lineup. So this is interesting. Um, this is a 2023 calendar and it just says freedom on it. So that's interesting, but this says 2024. So that's a good sign, I guess. <laughs> okay. So this is the 2024 take a note. Let's see. Okay. And it has a lift tab. These boxes are, oh, sorry. These boxes are pretty sturdy. Okay, so, okay, here is the thank you card. That's pretty. And then we get another freedom. It's in blue. And this one is the 2024. The months are in blue. That's really pretty. And then here is the planner. It's the regular version. It's the English version. That's what I decided to get this time around. It's so pretty. So. Okay, that took a little longer than I thought. But here it is. This is how open spine. I love that. And it has this pretty blue. It has your overview, my hair. Okay, so it has your monthly and your overview, then your yearly, and you can see it's all in English. Everything is English this time. This is a little great. And then here is your week. This is fantastic. I didn't mind the planner with um, Taiwan in it, but I am happy I was able to snag the English version this time. But that's the planner and it's gonna go back in the box because we have quite a bit of time before 2024. And this is a cover that I ordered. I'm not sure how well made it's going to be. But look how pretty it is. It is so pretty. Look at that. And so the planner, we'll probably go ahead and put it on. It'll fit in here, hopefully. Okay, so yeah, it fits really good. It says take a note here. And then it's just, like I said, it flips okay. Um, 
it feels papery. Um, so it was very pretty and I liked the holographic color to this. So, all right, that is my unboxing of my take a note planner that I will be using for 2024. Okay, let's get to the next planner. Okay, so the next unboxing that I have is from Moxie Live. So the box is huge and doesn't fit in frame, so I'm gonna open it. Well, <laughs> I definitely messed that up. It comes with this um, board that has instructions and stuff on it. Okay. So this is what I got. Okay, we'll start with the accessories that I picked out. Um I've been eyeing Moxie Life for the last several years that it's been around. And I thought this year I would go ahead and try it. So the first thing I have is this 2023, um, 2023 Reflections. This was free with my purchase and it is the 2023 year end Reflections notebook. Um, so I'm excited to kind of try this system out. Okay, the next thing I picked up was the bookmarks. The bookmark trio. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But they say weekly actions, monthly goals, and annual goals. So I picked these up to use, um, comes with this nice vinyl sticker. And then I also, I also picked up these highlighters that uh, have the codes on them or the areas of goal setting, I guess. So I did pick those up too. So my planner is wrapped. Okay, so the planner comes in this nice box. The packaging is really well done. Okay, so this is the planner that I, or the cover that I pick, and it says, know this every day is a fresh start. And then on the back, it says, don't forget you are more than enough. So I've never had this before. I did pick up I did pick up the horizontal instead of the vertical because the other planners I had picked up were vertical. So I picked up the horizontal in this. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna be using this planner for, but I wanted to pick it up because I thought I might use it this year since I don't know exactly what I'm doing. But I know these sell these sell out, so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up in case it did. Hopefully I will figure out a way to use this. You're probably thinking, but Casey, didn't you spend a lot of money last year on a lot of planners? Which last year is this year, 2023, the year is not over. 
and you're already buying a lot of planners for 2024 that you don't know you're gonna use? Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, yes I am. But hopefully, I haven't bought that many so far. Um, hopefully, it'll be fine. <laughs> Okay, so the next planner that I ordered and that have has come in is the Living Well Planner. Um, it is Practical Solutions for Everyday Overwhelm. I ordered this planner because I had done a video recently about all the planners I had used in 2023, which I didn't use this planner in 2023. I think it was more like 2018 or 19 that I used it. But I was talking about the different types of binding that I had been using. And this was one planner that had a wire O binding that I used. And it got me thinking that I used this planner for like nine months, almost, if not longer, and it was working. And so I kind of like looked to the website some more and decided to um, order it, see if they had made any changes to it and see if possibly it could be a runner up or winner to my 2024 planner lineup. So let's open it. It came pretty fast. Um, like I don't even know if it was a week that it took, but it came pretty fast. Okay. So it's boxed like this. It is wrapped and it is wrapped and it does have some protection on the okay so it does have some protection here let's open it and see what we got uh, there we go. um so it does have wire binding it's a hard cover it has these little let me see if i can zoom you out um does have these little, I don't know, corner cap things. Um, I chose this colorful um, cover, geez, my words today, and it says dream big, create daily, spread hope, get curious, be kind, choose joy, seek harmony, and live inspired. Um, I liked, there were like six choices, I think, for covers. There was some really neutral ones, and there was like a leopard print run one. There was a subtle like rainbow stripe one that was really pretty that I almost got, but I ultimately chose to get this rainbow colored one. Um, so I got that. So this is what the front looks like. This is the back. It says keep going, you've got this. And then it just has their logo, their Living Well Planner. And I guess this is a collaboration with Amy Tangerine which I do not know about uh, that. Okay, so this is the inside. It does have a pocket here. Um, I'm not sure how much will fit in this pocket, but it's, and then it says made with love. It doesn't say where it's made, um, but it's living well, spending less ink is who made it. This is also an undated planner. So it says our promise and then, and they have their own goal system called crushing it. And so there is um, an actual, when you order the planner, you also get like a course, like a boot camp on how to learn the crushing it system. So that's really cool and nice because sometimes the instructions in planners for certain systems don't necessarily have all the necessary details and videos can help you go more in depth with their system. So <clears throat> I like that. So I got that and I will not be doing it yet because I don't know if I'm going to be using it, but I did go through it when I purchased this in 2019. It says it's copyright 2018 and I'm wondering if I got it in 2019. Um, so these are the, like the goal setting pages. It has your do it scared, courage is action in the face of fear. Um, do it scared is kind of like uh, the motto of this company. 
So, so it has, you know, your things to fill out, your long-term goals that you want to fill out. And then it has important dates here. And then it has important information you want to keep track of. It has year to glance, it has the lines, and then there's big days where check off. The paper, I don't remember what the paper was on this, and I'm not sure if it says. Um, it honestly feels similar to the Moxie Life paper. So then there's a notes and ideas, and then you get your first monthly tab. So you have your monthly goal sheet. Then you have your goal crushing sheet, your project planner sheet, and then you have your month at a glance, and it's very colorful. So if you do not like color and you rather have a grayscale, then this probably isn't for you. I don't actually mind this color. Um, I'm not a big orange person. It looks like the colors, um, there's six colors and they rotate. Yeah, cause Saturday or, but the one thing I do, I mean, since this is undated, I can do Monday through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just like to have my weekend days together so this is the monthly at a glance then this is the weekly plans i don't remember if it had time stamps the last time i used it but it does now so it has your the vertical spread has your time 6 to 10 p.m hour increments and then it has must do and has three things and then it has a little like crop pot and I'm assuming you would put your meals down here is what the intention is for that. Also has your list and it has your big days over here. So you get one, two, three, four, five weekly plans. And then it has a monthly budget and it already has pre um, determined spots for you to put um, so you have estimated and spent and difference, and then you have a note section. I know when I used this back in 2019, I think it was 2019, I did not use the monthly budget. Um, and I'm currently in a spreadsheet that I found from Etsy that I am liking to use, but I also find that when I get through the month, I kind of forget how we did and so I'm wanting to either print it out or maybe possibly put it in here so I can look back on it and I can compare it with prior months and stuff because right now they're each month is a separate spreadsheet and so sorry my hand itches for some reason um, but each spreadsheet is each file is a different month so it's hard to kind of like see if I actually improved over months so I thought maybe putting it in something like this would be helpful so that the monthly budget and then you have monthly expenses and I think when I was using tried to use this this wasn't enough lines for my monthly expenses it probably is now because we don't spend as much money as we did then um, we're a lot better with our expenses now and then it has a thoughts and thanks, and this is like a reflection for grace and gratitude and stuff. And then it just has a line notebook, and then it has your next tab. And so you do that. I don't think there's anything else. Let's go to the back. There does seem to be quotes sort of on here spread love and kindness everywhere you go i don't really mind these quotes um so okay and you get to the back there's one more month so we get to the back so you have your your budget your monthly expenses, your thoughts, and then you have your notes. And then you have one, two, three, four notes pages, and then you have like a social media um, page. 
and then you have um, information about the system. Then you have these stickers that are vinyl, I believe, and they have, I guess, enough three four five six so there's enough sticker day stickers for the months and then you have the, your tabs here and then you have the your actual months here so you have enough stickers to kind of date it and then it does come with a strap and of course this is wire oh so it doesn't go that way you have to go this way um it does have a strap so that's what this planner is. It's actually not as bulky, probably because it has, you know, thinner paper than, um, you know, Erin Condren or something like that. But it just has this one pocket. It would be nice if there was another pocket in the back, but there doesn't seem to be. But I thought I would try this one out. It's a goal setting. It's a goal setting planner, um, kind of like the Moxie Life. Um, so I don't know exactly which one I might be using but I was intrigued by this and I'm intrigued by the moxie life so when December comes around or you might be seeing this in December I don't know when I'll be posting this video um, but was intrigued by this company and I'm excited to kind of go through the core the crushing it system and see if it meshes with my my vibe how i like to do things um i'm currently using well i don't know if i'm currently using but i have been using the hb90 system since 2020 2019 2020 gosh all the years have run together for me i don't remember exactly but i think it was 2019 i bought the HB90 system in the fall time and I've been using that on and off since then and I have accomplished some of my goals but I feel like there's still a disconnect in the way my brain works and how the system works and I know you can adapt it for your purpose but I'm having a hard time adapting it I guess and so I'm gonna try new things and it's okay to try new things and if new things don't work you can try other things or you can go back to things in the past we'll see if I start the year in 2024 in this planner or the moxie life using their system and it doesn't seem to be working very well after the first quarter or the second quarter I will switch and go back to HB 90 or see if I can find a different system and I'm always trying new things to see if I can adapt it for my lifestyle and for me. I encourage you to do the same. Systems are out there to guide you, but you don't have to use it exactly what I'm gonna try to do. Hey, okay, so here is, I think this is the fourth planner stuff I've gotten in for 2024, so let's open it. Let me get the box out of the way. These were just kind of on top of the box. Um, but it is from Wonderland 222. So you get this card and it has their social stuff on it. Okay, so I bought this planner for this reason. So let's open it <laughs> first. Well. This is the planner purse that Wonderland 222 came out with. And so it opens. It comes with this strap and then it has some card slots. It has a pocket on this side, a pocket on this side. Plug it on this side, plug it on this, and a pin. This, I bought this to hold A5, so 
This is the A5 planner that I picked out. It fits in there perfectly. So there's that and the straps just hook on like right here. And then this is like, um, oh, it does come with like a wristlet strap. But this has three card slots. I don't know if you can see it, but just has a, a huge pocket to put like pins and stuff in. So I bought this. I probably didn't need it, but I was very intrigued by it. So I'm excited about that. And then I also bought a B6 notebook. I've been intrigued by like a smaller size than A5. And so I thought I would try B6, but this might actually be a little too small for me. So it has a key, an index page, and then it has, it does have like the timestamps and it has a place for the date. So yeah, it just has the timestamps and the date and then each page is numbered and there's 189 pages. And I did end up getting the cover for that. So I will put that on later. And then I did get an extra cover for my take a note. And then I got a cover for this chunk of a planner. <laughs> this is their 2024 planner. This is the non-stacked planner. It's the new version that they came out with. But I was intrigued by this planner because it has Okay, let's see here. Okay. So you have that first page. You still have a key and index and then you have some more indexes. You have your four year so then you have your yearly. This was one thing that intrigued me is it has um, like an area for goal setting. So it gives you in three months in the first quarter, so January, February, March, and then it has notes for each quarter. And then it goes on. Then after that, it gives you these routine trackers. So they're already pre-built, you don't have to like draw them out and there's one for each month so I thought that was intriguing never seen trackers really in a planner before it has a notes page and then it has a like a goal place or just like an overview for December which I thought was cool and then you have your December and then the weekly looks like the Hobonichi weekly I think I'm not sure if they're the same size but it's a Monday start with your little box here and then you have boxes here. Standard weekly format. And when you get to the end, you have a December review page and then you have your next January review. And so this is an all-in-one planner. So you have all your weeks. And then when you get to the December review of 2024, you start with your daily page and the daily page is just basically blank with the time slots. And there is 375, I believe. Yeah, 375. So that is what this is. The Wonderland 222 2024, not, I think they're calling it non-stacked weekly planner daily version. And I was really intrigued by already having the habit trackers in here and then also having um these quarter sheets um i believe sterling inc common planner has some goal setting stuff in it thought i would get this especially since i had saw the planner purse and i wanted to get that so i went ahead and got this at this time i still don't know what i'm going to use it for i've been making some journal entries and taking notes on what i think i need what I need to track and what I need to do for next year. I always have like a big plan to do a lot of planners and then end up not doing a lot of planners. When I purchased this, I had only at the time 
knew that I was going to purchase the take a note. So I was only going to use this and the take a note. And then since then I've bought a few more planners. So the goal right now is not to buy any more planners, but I am excited to work with this. So I hope you enjoyed my 2024 planner unboxings. Like I said, these are not my 2024 planner lineup. These are just the new planners that I have purchased for 2024 that I may or may not be using. I may try to sell some if I, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, thumbs up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.